right um i'll share with you on the and the ai so i what I, what am i using on ai let me just share with you if i can find i i still have it up on my computer and i just want to show you so um i had a client who he needed to he needed it's a unique situation so i'm not saying everybody should let's all do this In his situation it serves his interest to sue a law firm and a debt collector for whatever they're doing in violation of the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Just works out that way. So <clears throat> I already have this pleading. I've been using it, using it for years. I just don't have it, the latest version of it. So I go to the chat GPT and I said, I need a pleading for a complaint for violations of the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act for unfair and deceptive collection practices. That's what I told the AI. And it came back with the exact pleading I needed. Now, this is what's important about this. So many times we all talk about what the law is and how we think they broke the law and this sort of thing. And then we don't know how to go get a remedy, how to ask the court for a remedy. And I'm going to tell you right now, here's how it works. Someone could have broken the law. And there's a certain way to explain how someone broke the law to the court. And this is called a pleading. In the pleading, you have to say certain things. It's very sometimes complicated. So you have to allege certain things. If you don't, the court cannot take your case. That's why so many times if you don't do your research and, and homework, so to speak, the court will dismiss your case and you'll think, ah, it's not fair. The whole court's corrupt. No, it's because you didn't say it correctly. Unfortunately, that's just how our system works. So you need to know the pleading requirements or the pleading elements of a complaint. So if you want to sue somebody for violations of the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, you have to allege that the collection practice was unfair and deceptive. That's one of the things you have to say. All right, so when I went to the AI, I said, tell me what the pleading requirements are for a complaint for FDCPA violations. And it did. It was perfect. It gave me everything. All I have to do now is put in the names and the facts of the case. Maybe I'll make a little, you know, a little more comments in there. But other than that, I'm ready to file, get a case number, and serve it with a summons and a complaint on, copy the complaint on the uh, defendant, which is the law firm. All right, so I just want to share that with you guys. This is a really good tool. Um, I think in the very new near future, what I may be able to do is take much of my work and upload it to the AI and then ask it questions about my work. It's like, you guys asked me to write you a letter. If I have 15 examples of that situation, you just have to ask the AI to write the letter. The AI, it, it's, it's like fire. I'm telling you guys, it's like fire. We got to learn how to use it because it's going to be used against us. Let me see if I can find this here. Ah, here we go. So I was looking up different things for some research I was doing. You guys can see this now, right? So here's my version of ChatGPT. So, so like if I go here and I, I got this. Um, I'll do it like this. And by the way, when I first did this, I just put FDCPA. I didn't put the whole name. It knew exactly what I was talking about. Uh, it does help to know a little bit about the subject. But anyways, so if I if I tell it, write me a pleading. Here, here you go. You guys are watching. Let's see if it does anything. Write a pleading for. Now, sometimes it tells me to look somewhere else. Because I think there's a filter on here. So, so yeah, basically, this is an example of what parts of the pleading are must be included. The names of the parties, why it has jurisdiction, that's Title 15, Section 1692, the, what happened in your case, and then you have to say unfair and deceptive, and then give copies of letters, and then you have to explain what kind of damages you suffered, okay, and then what, to, what you want the court to do about it, right? And so it's telling you what the, this is how you write the complaint. Now, the version I got earlier was, was better than this one. But anyways, you see the idea, right? So anyways, I'm just going to show that with you. This is a real powerful tool. 